Welcome back. We're talking about tasks. We've gone over a lot of things. We found that you can have your task over here to the side in many of the Google applications, and you need to pay attention to where that's located. Um, <clears throat> there's some other things, and in the past, the task would be over here, and there would be a drop-down arrow under the Gmail that you would click on, and it would be there. They've moved it over here. Google frequently makes changes and updates that they think will help you in better finding and using the tools that they give you. One thing I want to point out is over here at our Gmail, you have your three pancakes, the main menu. In the past, that would do some different things, but now when I click on it, it just shrinks up and it gives me more reading room across my screen. Um, some people like that, some people don't. I'm one of those that don't. I don't really care for that. When I'm here, I want to be able to see these things. It just makes it easier for me to find the label I'm looking for. And so to each their own, everybody has their own preference. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing with me on this. Just respect that we both can be right if we're saying, hey, this is what I like. Well, that is what you like, and I can work with that. All right. Over here, though, back on the task. We found that we have this hide side panel, and then we have this little button down here to show side panel. Make sure you keep in mind and remember that frequently. The keep button, the task button. We're working on tasks right now, and this is where I want you to create a task for yourself. We're going to add, we're going to create a new task, and I want you to call it home chores. Some things you're going to do tonight to help your, your parents, your family out at home. So we're going to do home chores, but we're going to really edit the details. So click on that. We're going to do some, we're going to add some things. Things to do this afternoon. My task. Well, one, let's go, oh yeah, that's the label. We're going to sit there and we're going to add some subtasks to this list. First, we want to, let's wash the dishes. Let's get this out of the way. Um, clean my room. Now, I might need a subtask on that. No, they're not. In the past, we could add a subtask to a subtask, but apparently we can't do that. So let's fold close. All right. So this was real quick. I'm showing you how you can go in here and add your home chores, how to create a task with sublist. So we're going to go back. Now it's right up here. I can go back in and edit. I can also see everything I've put on here. Now that's odd. I've got a blank one. I wonder if I could delete that. Let's see if I could edit details. Oh, I'd be able to add to it. Ah, I like that though. I could add date and time. So let's go back. Wash dishes. Let's click on the pencil. Let's add date and time. Well, today is the seventh. Set time. We're going to say 4.30 p.m. That way you can have the dishes washed before supper. That would be really helpful. So, I've got that. Click OK. Wow. Now let's go back. I like that. So now we can see that I've got a, my task, my sub list. But I can add a date and time. Clean room. Let's click on that. Add date and time. Again, today's the 7th. Let's get that done before we go to bed. So let's go ahead and set a time of 6.30. News is still going on. There's nothing to watch on TV. So we might as well do it at 6.30 p.m. And then we go back. Now this one, for some reason, we're going to click on Edit. I didn't have anything put in there, so I'm just going to click on the trash can and delete it. There we go. Now, that looks better. That looks pretty good. All right. What I want you to do, 
as usual, we're going to do a screenshot. So this time we're going to use the control shift and then the key above the number six. We're going to take your cursor. It's kind of hard to see moving around up here and highlight just that. Copy the clipboard. Let's go to compose. Richard.Johnson at gcloud subject line first period assignment and then we'll call this one Google task then come over here control V hit enter a couple of times this is what I'm looking for. Now, it may be third period for those of you that are in my third period class. You know which class you're in. We've been doing this for five weeks. You know my expectations. So make sure you pay attention to the details. Make sure that you have a good signature down here. I'd like to see what grade you're in, what middle school you go to, things like that. So. We went over that just the other day. You can go back and fix your signature. Hit send. Now I'm going to close this task. Signature, settings, see all. And then right here in general, signatures about almost to the bottom. Make sure any changes you make, you go all the way down and then save changes. All right, guys. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're staying healthy. Miss you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.